Welcome back. Let's get started with Password Keeper. First thing I want you to do is go over to Firebase and go ahead and create your Firebase. Uh, uh, you can use uh, for an app name, uh, you can use just Password Keeper if you want. And if you, you see it's gonna be creating an app URL for you here. Um, so Password Keeper. Slide over to the side. Uh, and you'll notice it creates this, and this isn't available because I think that's the one that Tyler actually used. Um, but if you put your name in here, you should be fine. Uh, so your username hyphen and then password keeper. And of course mine isn't available because I already have it right here. So anyway, that's what I want you to do. All right, let's go ahead and do the starting code next. Uh, so if you if you double click on this guy, uh, unzip it, and then put it wherever you want, and then go ahead and get it opened up in Android Studio. All right, so you've got it downloaded. Uh, let's go into the code, and we're gonna make a quick change here. Uh, so if you go into, uh, actually not into activity, most of the changes we're gonna make are gonna be in main activity, but if you go to constants.java, you're gonna see a place where you can change your, your uh, repo. All right, so uh, making that change, going in here, so I already opened this up, so constants.java, and I'm going to change this to my name. All right, and again, just make sure that this matches the name that, that you used in Firebase. And save it, and go ahead and run it. All right, so we've got it running. Uh, so let's let's test out the, the different CRUD methods here. All right, so uh, we're going to try creation first. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and, and make, a, uh, make something here. So like uh, Expedia. And my name, choose whatever you want. Secret, and I'll say create here. Uh, and that's gonna make one, all right? You can you can make a couple if, if you really like, uh, why not? Okay, so uh, where else do you want this to be? So maybe this is a, uh, oh, that's interesting. I was trying to type in GitHub, uh, GitHub, all right? And um, username. And then your maybe your your password there. Uh, let's see. I don't even think I know what mine is here. We'll call it secret. Certainly, it's not that. Uh, so click OK, and then just check to see that, that you've got them here. Again, you can uh, you can expand one, and you can edit it, um, save it, uh, and so on. If you want to delete one, uh, just swipe it to the side. And if you're quick, you can undo it, and it will bring it back, and it will actually keep it uh, in your in your forge. Okay. Um, so if you wanted to check things out in your in your forge, right, just to, to see what you got, uh, let's see. We'll go in here, and I'm going to go in in data, and I'll see that I have I have these couples right couple right here. They are stored right at the root. Um, nothing very exciting going on yet. Okay. <clears throat> All right, so we've done that. So hopefully you did that. You tested your your creation uh, reading. Uh, so clearly it's reading in the the ones that, that we've we've put here. Um, the edit button you saw, and then swipe to delete. We um, we played around with. Right. So it looks good so far. Uh, so I will say that that most of the starting code you should be very familiar with at this point. Right. Um, so at this point in the in the in the course, uh, you've done a lot with uh, with fragments. Right. And activities. All right, so we have a login fragment, we have a password fragment. Uh, they have callbacks so that they can communicate back and forth to each other and with the main activity. Uh, we have a recycler view, of course, to show, show this here, and you've done some work probably with, with swipe to delete. If not, it's pretty straightforward. Uh, and then we have a basic child, um, basic child event listener in our Firebase, right? So like we did with, with movie quotes. There are some things here that, that are a little bit different and stuff that I'd encourage you to, to check out sort of on your own time, maybe if, if they're, they're interesting to you for, for your own project or your own work. The first thing you probably noticed that the recycler view has expandable entries, so when we click on them, we kind of see some, some data about them. Uh, so very, very nice, and they even animate as they open. Uh, and that's all custom stuff, right? So, so take a look to see what Tyler did there. Um, there's this some, some good work, okay? You may have noticed uh, that that um, we did some stuff with IME options, so the input method editor. Uh, so, for example, in the keyboard that pops up, right, you see rather than saying done, it says next, or maybe it says create. Um, so you can sort of uh, tab your way through different uh, through different different things. Um, so let's see. 
let's see if I can if I can show you that right now if, if you haven't seen it so if I click on one of these items and I hit edit all right so right now I am on the I'm on the first item on I'm at Expedia when I bring up the keyboard you'll see that that down here sort of in the in the bottom right hand part of the keyboard it says next rather than than uh, than done there and if I hit that it brings me to my next field and then finally when I'm on my last field you'll see that actually changes to save and then I can save it from there right so there, there's some neat stuff I'm not going to talk about it uh, it's a little bit tangential to the unit but I think it may be interesting to you okay um, and finally uh, one thing a little bit tiny bit different code style uh, is that here um, what, what we chose to do is to let the adapter be the child event listener right uh, in movie quotes and probably in your weather picks you probably made an inner class right that that um, had the on child added and 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 those different callbacks uh, I just chose a different uh, different format here um, so anyway just so, so you're aware of that if you go peeking through the code all right so you might wonder wow this is a great app I mean it works right so why would you why would you ever want to do anything more all right. Well, just just remember that that you know there's absolutely zero security on on the passwords, right? So if I were going to log into your account or vice versa, um, I could see all your passwords and you could see mine. Um, probably not what we what we want uh, for this kind of a thing, right? We don't want everyone to see everyone else's data, all right? Um, yeah, not not so good for a password app. So our solution on this is going to be to to do some work with with login. Okay. All right. So let's talk about where some of this code is going to go. Uh, so so uh, Tyler set out it pretty nicely so that you know pretty much everything we get, we're going to do is going to be in main activity. So here's sort of the let's let's talk about the flow of the program, right? So what happens is is in on create uh, in code that we're going to write very soon, uh, we're going to check to see if we're authenticated. And if we're not, it's going to take us into our login fragment, right, where we have the opportunity to to log in. If we are, right, so if we are authenticated, then certainly we just jump right over into, into the, the app itself um, and, and, you know, go on from there, actually use it, okay? So let's talk about this. So if we need to authenticate, we have different options here, right? So, so for example, um, on the first one, uh, so, so uh, if we type in a, an email on a password and we click the login button, then we're gonna jump uh, into um, it, in the on login method that is part of main activity. Right, so the, the, the fragment here is going to call back out to main activity and say, hey, here's the email and password they typed in. Go ahead and, and, and authenticate. And once it authenticates, then it's going to jump back into um, sort of the main app. All right. And ditto for the Google login. Right. So here it's, it's going to be a little bit more complex uh, because we're going to have to actually sign into Google if we're not or get permissions from Google uh, for our app to connect. Um, we're going to actually have to get a, an OAuth token um, from Google. So we'll do that in a task. Uh, and then we jump into the auth handler, which is kind of similar to, um, once you get to that point, it's going to be very similar to, to what we're doing with simple login here. Uh, and finally, and it looks like I forgot my button right here, but but in, in your, your Rosefire button, uh, when you click on that, there's going to be something else here. So an on Rosefire login uh, method uh, that, again, is going to use some things with tokens. Um, the, the flow is a little bit different on that. Um, once you got that, then then it's going to jump into uh, into an auth handler. Okay. Uh, finally, we have an, an on logout, uh, and that's going to be when we when we uh, click that guy when we log out from the password fragment. It's going to take us to the on logout method. So again, all this code right here is stuff that we're going to have to write, and we'll do it all in main activity. All right, so login where we're going to start, and it's going to start with these rules, right? So that's that's what's coming up next. Uh, see you next lesson. Mm -hmm.